Hello everyone! Time for a hobby update. What have I been doing? Well, I have been painting this. Pikemen. Some Pikemen from Warlord Games and a lot of other stuff. Well, let's talk about Pikemen for a second here. While painting Pikemen, uh, I've run into a little problem. Uh, yeah, that problem too. Ouch. Uh, let's say I've been painting a pikeman like this. Maybe I'm the fool here putting the pikes on uh, before I paint them. I don't know. And also these are the ones in in metal. Maybe I'm the only one using metal pikes too. Not sure, but I've run into one problem, or I run into it two times actually. So if you're using paint with open uh, bottle, like if it's open like this, right now it's closed. It's important now. So you use the paint on the pikeman and the pike starts living their own life. So you paint and then this happened. So this has happened to me two times I think. And you see the bottle of Agrax Earthshade. Yeah. Guess what? It just went all over the table. Because I was painting pikemen. Have any of you have had the same problem? And let me just show you the pikemen now. So these pikemen are going to be Spanish pikemen. I guess they're gonna be put into a Spanish veteran regiment or something. There you go. Pikemen. And oh god damn it. There you go. And now let's go for the musketeers. I made a video about Becker's command and I think Becker's command is turning into Becker's battalion or something because I just keep painting and painting and never get done. Some Spanish musketeers and I tried to Google about Spanish musketeers and what they were wearing back then. White is uh, difficult to paint. Everybody's doing their own special treatment on the white color. The drummer here, I uh, used one of a famous painter Spanish painter, one of the paintings, used it as a reference. Uh, don't remember his name. Great painter though. Uh, and there is a drummer. He's gonna carry a flag. And commanding officer. And another. I think I will use him for carrying a flag too. There's some cuirassiers in the background. These armors 
I'm not sure uh, what kind of armor I will do, but I think I will mix some kind of armor. These are the Germans. See if I could show you. Yep, yeah, my collection of German, the Great War. Zoom in here. There we go. This is a Stoss platoon. Took me a while to paint, and I think I've been doing a lot of hobby stuff and forgot to put anything on YouTube. So these are the Germans for the Great War, and I also painted the British. Now, where are they? They are here. Here they come. Oh, those goddamn pikes! Again! Hurting myself on those pikes all the time. So here are the British. Uh, the tanks are not done yet. But I... These I put a lot of time in. And you can think I put all the time on painting the miniatures. But no, the time was put on the mud puddles. Never done it before, never used Vallejo still water. So I used these, uh, the, this one I mean. And I didn't know that when the puddles dry, they also shrink. So, for example, one puddle I had to do five times. What did I learn from that? I will never do puddles again. Never. And here are my British rifle platoon with machine guns. I think it's called something with marauders or a starter set or something. that got myself some samurais and I just put them together some samurais in different poses there we go oh dear here we go this this is a box of shame actually a Swedish box of shame you see these need to be painted another set of musketeers Swedish musketeers uh, I think I'm gonna do a video on on when I paint one of these musketeers or a Swedish musketeer We'll see. Hidden away in the storage room, some childhood memories. Yes, I found my my little Napoleonic, Napoleonic army from when I was a kid. This brings back a lot of happy memories. Yeah, I haven't watched what's inside of this French line infantry British light dragoons with some Austrians inside oh there and more French line infantry <laughs> mostly warriors that have been painted oh dear well 
I think uh, that's it. I hope you guys enjoy it. Again, stay away from these pointy spikes. And um, thank you all for watching. Take care of yourself. Have a good time. Enjoy the summer. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching. Goodbye.